So what are we doing today? We're gonna to be trying out Ashton Cox's uh, super cool Dragapult team. It's got Disable Dragapult and Encore on uh, Booster Energy Iron Bundle. I just think that is the spiciest combo ever. So yeah, we're gonna try that out today. We're gonna to hop on the ladder, see what we can do with it. But he used this in the second IC or GC technically, the Global Challenge, to do pretty well. Um, 1733.9 points and he was like 360th when the tournament ended. So yeah, or when the ladder tournament tour thing ended. So yeah, let's see what we can do with it. There's the rental code. Let's borrow it. And I have the paste in front of me. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I'll go ahead and I'll drop it uh, in the description down below. But yeah, let's see what we can do. So it looks like the Golden Ghost fairly bulky, 172 speed. It is a super physically defensive Wo Chen. Uh, standard set, leftovers, Terra Poison, Terra Water, and the Golden Go. We have Booster Energy Iron Bundle with Icy Wind Freeze Dry Encore Protect, no water move. We have Life Orb Dragapult, Dragon Darts, Double Edge, Disable Protect, Mago Berry Hippowdon with Yawn, Sand Tomb, Stealth Rock, and Protect. And we have a Glamora with Assault Vest, Timid Nature, Power Gem, Earth Power, Energy Ball, and Mortal Spin. And honestly, that Glamora seems like it's going to be a menace in the sand if we end up having to use it that way. But yeah, let's see what we can do. Ranked battles. And our ranking tanked after trying to use that sun team. So let's try to let's try to climb up again. And also let me make sure I can't hear myself. Hold on. Okay, we're good. I cannot hear myself. We're gaming. Throw that up right there. Double battle. Let's do it. All right. It's going pretty well. It's been a nice day. As long as it pushes the Wo Chen agenda. It's definitely a fine team. It's definitely a fine team. It did well in the GC, but then again, it was being piloted by Ashton. I feel like that dude could pilot like a rock in the first place of a tournament. My pasta strainer fell off the pot and all my spaghetti is in the sink. Please send help. I am sorry for your loss. I am sorry for your loss. Probably keep up this pokey paste. So I don't forget it. Alright. Nick. So versus this, um... I would imagine it's just screens annihilate. Probably no, like, self-proc or anything. Uh, we get a lot of value out of the... Do we get a lot of value out of uh, Hippowdon? I think lead Hippowdon could be good. We can throw a Yawn out, which is pretty nice. Um, Wo Chen's a little bit scary, though. I think what I might do is, like, Glamora Hippowdon... Wo Chen and then Booster Bundle seems fine. We might even just go with you. Actually, eh, we're going to go Booster Bundle. Or maybe Pult. I'm a little conflicted. We do have Terra Water on the Golden Go, which should be fine into the Chi Yu. But that's that's like my main concern is Chi Yu can mess up the whole team if I'm not careful. Um, and I'd imagine Bundle and Pult have to be led together to get it off. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just go with Golden Go. He's a big boy. He can live. Okay, cool. This is a really solid lead for me. I don't really get KO'd by anything. It's a really specially defensive Hippowdon too, so I can just go for Stealth Rock or even Sand Tomb. Actually, Sand Tomb seems fine. I'll just Mortal Spin. Let's Sand Tomb this Chi Yu and just get rid of it. Like, the sooner that's gone, the better the, the Golden Go is. If 
It withdraw. All right, what's coming in? Annihilate. All right, glad I'm going to poison that right away. There's the Dark Pulse. Hopefully no flinch. That just bounces off of us. Oh my god. All right, sweet. We're going to yawn that Annihilate. Unless it's... um, I, I mean, there is a chance it's running Vital Spirit, but I, I don't... I don't think it's worth really, like, calling that out. Chi Yu is, is stuck. It cannot switch. It is not having a good time. This is really cool. I, it's kind of funny that Hippowdon's, like, butt is just right up in our face. That's just hilarious to me. Like, I, we just can't get him out of there. Yeah, we'll yawn the Annihilate. There's so much damage going on. The Chi Yu's invisible. Alright. Um, I can probably get Glamora off the field. Eh, we can just stay in. Yeah, I'll just stay in. Uh, and we'll go for the... Power Gem. Oh, wait. I, why? Hold on. I don't know why I was talking about Yawning Ape. We just poisoned it. I'm an idiot. Why was I talking about Yawning Ape? <laughs> Alright. Um, luckily, it's special defense stats lower. We can just go for the KO. And we are slower than it, so it will be taking a lot here. I don't know why I was talking about Yawning Ape. People at home are probably like, what do you mean Yawn Ape? It's already poison. I'm like, look, I'm stupid sometimes. I forget. I just got off of work. Also, it's pretty unlikely they want to go for a fire move into this, into this slot. Yeah, there's the Dark Pulse. We're going to take a little bit more damage. We do flinch, which really sucks, but that just bounces off of us. We're just going to sand tomb it. Annihilate stuck. Hoggers. He will now be worn down slowly. Does Drain Punch hurt? Yes. I don't really care, though. Chi Yu's gone. Maybe not. Maybe I need to protect this turn. A little spin there. Actually, I think the sand will finish it off. Look at all this residual damage. This is this is just so funny. All right. Uh, let's get in Wo Chen. Actually, mm, yeah, Wo Chen's a pretty neutral play. If we get drain punched, it's whatever. I'm going to get Stealth Rock off. Got some Vital Spirit Ape. It's pretty good. I'd imagine they just Drain Punch the, um, the Hip Out on. Oh, wait. It's a Ghost type. I can't even trap it. I'm stupid. It's not going to like coming in on this, though. All right, what's nice is the Chi Yu's gonna drop at the end of the turn. So it's not gonna be able to actually set up. Can you miss the Wo Chen? No, okay. It's not gonna be able to assist this thing in KOing my bonds. All right. Thoughts on viewer battles? Nah. There's Annihilate. It's not going to enjoy what it's coming in on here. Alright. So I think here, I'm good to just protect. And we're going to go ahead and go for the... Do I want to sand to annihilate? I don't think I want to give it any more boosts. I think I'm going to yawn you. There's the icy wind.
Doesn't do too much to Hibata. I'm just kidding. It did a lot. We're a fairly fast Golden Go. And, like, we're really bulky. I think we can eat a hit from the Fluttermane and then just KO the thing next to it. Alright. Gonna make kind of a risky play here. I think I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna attempt to side Pollen Puff. And I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Yawn again. This is a really risky play, but I don't think they ever hand over Bundle. They they were just gonna hand over Bundle. Okay. And did they just crit the hip out on? Oh no! <laughs> Everything just fell apart right there. I think I would have been fine had they not crit me because I would have gotten my Mago Berry. I guess they were just going for me, okay. Alright, good thing is that's going to sleep. And I think my Mon in the back should outspeed most Annihilate. We do still have Glamora. Alright, not sure what this uh, Annihilate speed tier is, but we're, it doesn't tend to run a lot of speed. So I think that this Golden Go should be fine to go for Shadow Ball into it. Pick up a KO, and we'll just Power Gem you. I'm kind of banking on the speed tier here, though. They protect the Annihilate. Okay, that makes sense. Because they want to wait for this Flutter to come in to threaten my um, my Golden Go. But the Flutter would have to be Specs. I'm a pretty fast Glamora too. So I think I should outspeed Annihilate. I might be able to get a KO here. Alright, that breaks a possible Sash. This is a little bit of a risky play. Let me think. Is there any reason not to just make it rain? I should just make it rain. I'm just gonna go for it. It'll KO the Annihilate from this range. I just energy ball. Yeah, let's just hope. You're gonna Terra. If they're Terra Fairy here... Oh, okay. Oh, I might have messed up. I might have messed up. That was kind of a hard call out. I'm not gonna lie. I could have Shadow Balled. <laughs> Can I KO anyways? They protected. No. <laughs> no. All right. Can I just like KO anyways? That'd be really cool. There's no way they drain punched, right? They have to rage fist. Okay. So I could have Shadow Balled there. I was kind of like trying to call Specs though. Do they drop? I don't think they drop. They're gonna live. Dang it. Okay. That's game. Unfortunate. 
Yeah, in that end game, it was basically just like, I have to decide which one of these they're gonna like Terra. And there wasn't exact. I don't think there was a right choice to be honest, because they didn't reveal an item on Fluttermane. So I thought it was safer just to assume that they're specs and just to throw out the um the make it rain regardless. All right. Um. This is interesting. Let's go booster bundle. And honestly, Bundle Pult's like a fine lead here. Glamour in the back. Yeah, we'll just do this. What are your thoughts on Clawitzer? I liked using it against the Ruin Legendaries. Um, I don't think Clawitzer is particularly good. Get away with it. In, in a lot of situations, people always ask me, like, what's your opinion on this Pokemon? What's your opinion on that Pokemon? If they, like, tell me, like, a really good Pokemon that's, like, common, I'll be like, oh, well, it's obviously good. But if they tell me a Pokemon that's, like, niche and, like, you would have to work on getting to, like, function on a team, my response is 99% of the time going to be, you could get away with it. Because, like, that's the most I can say about it. You can get away with it, you know? All right, they're just gonna quiver dance duo. This looks like Bundle's the fastest thing in the field. I'm not gonna stand for this disrespect. I am going to annihilate this thing and not allow it to dance. Terra Normal Life Orb Double Edge, cope. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. This is guaranteed to hurt. Oh, it doesn't get Quiver Dance, does it? Yeah, it only gets Fiery Dance. I forgot. Regardless, very cool. I don't know why they would Terra Grass here. That doesn't make, like, any sense to me. Alright, this Double Edge is one-shotting. 100%. A lot of recoil, but also a lot of damage. Check it out. I guess, honestly, I probably could have Dragon Darts to put. I don't think I would have gotten both KOs. Goodbye. All right. Let's see what they go for. Hurricane. That hurt. I don't know if it would have KO'd without the crit, but regardless, that happened. Um, all right. Let's go Glamora. Glamora should be fine here. Unless they send out like Tusk. In which case Glamora is a little questionable. Yeah, so they sent out Tusk, which means Gamora is a little questionable. Let's Icy Wind, and I'm just going to throw off an Energy Ball and hope that that KOs. Because I need the Icy Wind here, but I also need to make sure that I'm able to... Um... Oh, what if it's Tailwind? That could be bad if they like protect Tailwind. Oh no, they just protect and attack, I guess. All right, don't miss. 95% accuracy, just reminding you, Iron Bundle. Just reminding you what your job is here. Oh, there's Scarf. All right. Uh, we should be fine. Am I going to lose Gamora? Yes. Do I lose the game? Probably not. I just spam make it rain now. Go 
Go into Joldingo. This is a fire type, so make it rain may not KO. Icy Wind did do a lot though, so I think it's just Icy Wind Shadow Ball. Okay, withdraw the Tusk. Nice little poison on the Wochian. Tablets of Ruin is going to be worse for them in the long run. And since I know that they're Scarf, I just always freeze dry that slot in like Nasty Plot. What the bird doing? Yeah. So like I said, we know it's Scarf Tusk. We just freeze dry it. Wait, did they tear yet? They did Terra. Okay, I needed to make sure because I could have thrown there otherwise. Alright, this thing's gone. Nasty plot up. We always beat Wo Chen. Crit totally mattered, guys. <laughs> As they go for the Leech Seed. Yes, every crit always matters, always 100% of the time. This is how Pokemon works. Little do they know if they protect, they lose. Alright, you ready? I'm, I'm gonna win, but I'm not even gonna, like... I'm not even gonna, like, actually hit them with the Golden Go. What I'm gonna do here is Protect. And I'm gonna Nasty Plot on their Protect. Check this out. I know I'm in the brain of the Wo Chen player. I know how they think. Oh, they didn't even Protect. Oh, that sucks. Shame. Are they gonna try to Leech Seed me? Oh, well, that could've been bad. I wanted to encore them into protect so I get nasty plot a third time. Anyways, I just make it rain now. All right. This thing's gone. I know I can't be, I know I can't be, like, attacked by Leech Seed, but I wanted to send a message. I wanted to specifically get Protect. I thought it'd be funny. I think Tablet's lead is, like, fine here. Then again, uh, Bundle will be faster than Opposing Dragapult. The only issue is we won't be able to guarantee we outspeed. You know what, let's just do it. In the back here, uh, I don't mind Glim. Late game Glim could be fine, but that is also kind of rough into Great Tusk. If we're using Icy Wind spam, I want to bring Golden Go here. Last Mon. Honestly, you know what? Hippowdon. We haven't made enough use of Hippowdon tonight. If it's the last game I'm bringing Hippowdon, I don't care. Great Tusk Belly Bolt. Uh, Terra Flying Belly Bolt, maybe? It's 
going to protect. If it's a weakness policy, I, I, that'd be weird. Great Tusk is not a mon you want to activate your own weakness policy with. I have no clue what they're thinking here. What? Did we see Air Balloon? Am I missing Air Balloon or something? No, they just decide Belly Bolt isn't worth it. Okay, I, I don't know what to think of that. Brother. Brother, I don't know what to tell you. I don't I I, I don't I don't know what to think about that. I, I don't know what to do. Um I mean Let's just get rid of it. Darts probably does it from this range. What am I supposed to say about that game? They they earthquaked their own belly bolt turn one. What am I, Ashton? What do, what do I do about that? What was that? Night specifically. <laughs> okay. Um. So tailwind offense stuff. They do have a random ish mouse hold. How much? I kind of really like Terra Poison U here. Um. Let's lead off with the stall duo. The only lead that I really wouldn't like with these two is like Garchomp and Chen Pao for some reason, which I don't think they're going to bring. Uh, late game bundled is fine. Like I said, we're bringing Hippowdon, Hell or High Water. I want to use Hippowdon. All right, cool. This lead's awesome. I'm just going to Terra Grass immediately. So, um, yeah. They can't taunt me because I'm Wo Chen. I am literally just going to Terra Grass and Leech Seed immediately. I'm going to Leech Seed the Murkrow because I think it's less likely. Nah, I should Leech Seed Garchomp. I could even foul play, but I get more value out of it. Why am I tearing? Hold on. Leech Seed, Terra, Mortal Spin. If they're Terra Steel, that's a little bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, they're Terra Ground, so I'm taking no damage this turn. Go for EQ. I'm gonna say 30% on Glim, 15 on on Wo Chen. No, they both take like 20. <laughs> Not even like 15-ish. Cool. Uh, we get spikes up. I'm gonna Mortal Spin. What is the Murkrow gonna do? Watch it be U-turn Murkrow. Watch. Or did the Murkrow already tailwind? I like looked away for a second, wasn't paying attention. No, it's just like a really slow Murkrow. Okay. Um, that's certainly an, a good opportunity to side Pollen Puff. And in the interest of just preventing tailwind entirely this turn, if they don't go for tailwind this turn for some reason, I can at least get rid of Murkrow and then play the long game to stall it out where I can just get bundle in and like Icy Wind spam next to Golden Go. Oh, wait, we didn't bring Golden Go. Bundle's still funny. Whatever. All right. Side Pollen Puff. Go for the Power Gem. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can we draw the Murkrow? That's good. I don't really mind that. I switch in the Golden Go. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting this Pollen Puff off. It's like whatever. Dragon Claw doesn't even do that much. Unless it's like Specs Golden Go, I'll be fine. I can also Earth Power now. And I'm at full health and I may be. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm simply sitting here, moisturized, happy in my own lane, thriving. I'm going to double up that uh, Golden Go, actually. Garchomp's on the timer. If it stays in, it's kind of its choice. It's just going to Dragon Claw me again. I don't lose my Mon. If it's like Specs Golden Go, this could be a little bit bad, but I'm sure we're fine. Oh, they're going for a flinch. You like not. I feel like not flinch here. Nice. Nice bit of recovery. I love that leech seed goes before poison. That's so nice. Just the priority of it is just really nice. It makes it so, like, if you leech seed a poisoned mon, you're never gonna, like, miss out on recovery because of poison. Okay. I mean, I win off of a mortal spin if they let me do it. It's a mouse hold. <laughs> I mean, there's a shot I don't get off the mortal spin. In fact, it's probably likely. Oh wait, I don't. I don't even need a mortal spin. I forgot. We have spikes in the field. Yeah, I just leech seed here. Get rid of Murkrow. Why not? When all hope is lost, my opponent will go for the 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 King's Rock pop bomb, and the game will be over. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> Do I drop the foul play now? Actually, I'm faster. I forgot. It's like a slow Murkrow. It's a really fat Murkrow, too. Cool. Let's get in hip out on just because it's funnier. I'm gonna click sand tomb. I'm clicking the sand tomb. Nothing can stop me here. Here it is. Sand tomb. I'm clicking it. I'm also gonna power gem the Murkrow, even though I should definitely be targeting the mouse hold, but it's funnier. They taunt me. Okay. All right. Get ready for a pop bomb. One. Two. Thank you. Niche move that you hardly use. Go. Aha. Uh -huh. Prepare for all the chip damage. Dude, honestly, wait. Hippowdon plus Garganical could be really funny. Hippowdon Garganical actually sounds really, really funny. Like instead of instead of um instead of Glamora, you just run Garganical. That could be hilarious.
See, in these situations, it'd be optimal to attack the mouse hold, but the issue is, if Paladon just did such a good job this game, I think I think we should let him know. I I think oh wait, not Yawn. Hold on. I think we should let him know just how good of a job he did. Alright. Self encore. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to say the team is bad, because obviously it's not. It's really hard to learn, and props to Ashton for doing as well as he did in the GC with it. It's a very hard team to learn. Anyways, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.